Hello everyone, it's Alive and Well here. I hope that you're alive and well too. I am here at a California native plant demonstration garden. Um, it's a little hike that's a favorite of uh, myself and my kids. And um, it seemed like they needed like a little bit of a break and they, they were kind of done with playing in the yard. So I thought, hey, you know what? This is a really quick, short hike. I'll be right there that um, people can do here in San Diego. And, um, Balboa Park and specifically in specifically in the Morley Field section close to some tennis courts on the west side of the tennis courts Without further ado, I'm gonna go along in the hike. It's not gonna take that long. So let's get to it Now here in this hike you can see a lot of uh, native plants and there is actually a map posted with um, all the names and both common and scientific with uh, a description of what they are and here we have some cactus you can really see the different types of plants some are what we call chaparral plant community plants and others are uh, sagebrush, coastal sagebrush. That's common here in Southern California, all the way, all the way up to Santa Barbara, all the way south to, all the way south to um, Northern Baja California. This one's really cool, I really like it because it has a nut. This is, um, oh yeah, it's jojoba. But I think this is a male. This plant is actually a species where one whole plant is male and one whole plant is female. Here we have some Indian fig. And here are cactus fruits that aren't quite ready yet. This one has just flowered. And here we have some cochineal bugs that were used way back in the days when the colonists, the Spanish colonists first got here, they would use this bug to make the red in all their royal um, coats. And that's actually the red that the English use for the, the king and the soldiers. You just go like this and you'll start seeing some red. Ouch. <laughs> but you gotta be careful. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> yeah? Where is it? There we go. Let me see if I can show you up close. Oh, it looks like it's all dried up. It takes a lot of bugs to make it. And they still use this technique of getting the color from the bugs in the state of Oaxaca down in Mexico. There it is. The cochineal bug makes that color. Yeah, let's go. Also, we have a lot of this plant right here. It's called lemonade berry. That's its common name. And it's part of the cashew family. So if you're allergic to cashews, do not try this. But this is its seed. And if you were to taste it, it tastes like lemonade. A tart one at that, really. Sorry about that. Here we go. Are you having fun? Hey, brother. This can get really nice when sunset comes as it's arriving, just like it is right now, but the clouds are a little too thick in order to see the sunset and it's blocking some of the colors. Let me backtrack a little bit. Here's a laurel sumac. This thing's kind of, um, you know, important, important in some ways for hobbies because 
uh, when people do uh, model railroad uh, towns and whatnot, they use this, they dry it out, and they use this as tall trees in their towns because it looks perfect. If I remember correctly, it's part of the rose. No, no, it's a cashew family also. Cashew family. See all the inflorescence? Inflorescence? All those are individual flowers in there. And that was actually a signaling kind of a plant for people that started agriculture around here. It would indicate that it is warm enough to grow citrus and that there was no, no freeze, no freezing point. I'm coming! Where are you? Ooh. I'm here. Yeah, let's go. How are you doing, brother? Hold my mano. Okay. Let's step and hop and hop and hop. I think the parakeets are here. <laughs> that was fun. Careful with the poop, people. There's a dog park here nearby, nearby around that way, and sometimes uh, the dogs are not taken care of. So always be careful. And I know that's dogs, although commonly you'll see coyote. Here at this point, we're nearing the uh, the end point of this little trail loop. Here's Lemonade Berry again. This looks like a basket bush, which is a, what um, the early pioneers of this area thought was a different type of bush. And the, uh, the colonists I mean, the pioneers, the settlers, thought that um, it was something toxic and that somehow the, the native, the indigenous people, the Kumeyaay here, were immune to it, but they were just wrong about the, the plant. It, was, it looked similar, but it was the wrong one. Before I go any further, there is one bush here that can get uh, arboresque, um, which means like a tree. Um, this is Toyon. Here we go. Or Heteromelis arbidifolia. This can get to be maybe as tall as 25 feet tall. It's something that I actually want in my yard. <laughs> I've been trying to get some, but um, I've been uh, unsuccessful thus far. <sighs> its common name is, um, it's, uh, what is it? I'm gonna think of it. It is holly. Is it, no, it's not Christmas holly. I forget. But it is a type of holly, and there's a story that says that because this was grown so, uh, so this grew so densely in the Hollywood Hills, that that's how the Hollywood area got its name from this plant, the holly. Well, I think I'm gonna end this video right now. That was a really short hike. Um, hi. hi, we're done. Isn't that great? Yeah, let's go back. Yeah, we're gonna sign off. We're going back. It's time to go relax, maybe have a uh, sip of lemonade or water, something refreshing. 
it wasn't that hot of a day today. Right now it's about 68 degrees, but I just feel like having something refreshing. All right, this is Israel. Nope, sorry. Okay, this is. Yeah. This is Alive and Well, and I hope that you have a fantastic weekend. It's going to be Father's Day weekend. Go out on a hike if you if, if you don't know what to do. I suggest doing one. It can be very uh, fulfilling, really. Just being out and just seeing the relationships that like the plants have with the animals or with the environment, the climate around you. It's kind of a, dare I say, trippy when you start to think deeply on it. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh no no no! Before I before I sign off, I'd like to remind you that if you do like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to catch everyone right when I post it, you can subscribe down below, and uh, you can get notifications of when I post. So that way you don't miss a thing. All right now, now I'm signing off. Now now I am. Okay, bye.